guys, welcome back to Sulu Lux Life. I am Suleika Luna, and if you enjoy making these simple things a luxury, then subscribe to the channel. And if you are a returning viewer, then hello, love, more love to you. So today's video, it is going to be a fun one. We are going to get into my luxury candle collection, talking about the highs and lows, candles, all things candles. So if that is a video that interests you, then keep on watching. So one of the first jobs that I've had when I moved to Florida was working for Yankee Candle. This job helped me learn the proper way to take care of candles, why buying from them is a good thing, like what makes them stand out versus all the other candle makers. And one thing that I really do applaud this candle specialized brand is the fact that even if you don't have the candle on, you can still smell the scents all throughout your home. And there was one candle that I smell it and it just reminds me of my first apartment. And it's the cotton candy candle. It's just a very nice, sweet smell. For the longest time, I kind of feel like I've always leaned towards vanilla scents and working in this job definitely made me realize how much more of like sweeter food scents I like. I also like a lot of like seasonal candles like the Christmas tree one and there was this one that was kind of like spearmint. It, sm it smelled like spearmint bubblegum and that one unfortunately was discontinued uh, but again it fell under the same little umbrella of me liking sweet candles and the candle that now recently I like to burn in my room it is vanilla creme brulee so this candle uh, I got it during like the Black Friday deal so it's definitely lasted me quite some time here it says that like everything from the glass I normally do leave it open so I can kind of smell it a bit. And one thing I learned from Yankee Candle is because the oils evaporate from the candle, they stick to the lid. It's so like a better way to smell the actual scent of the candle. You, It's best for you to smell the lid. And with this candle, it should tell me the amount of hours it'll go for. So the large, original large candles, which is the single wick, It'll give you um, 110 to 150 hours burn. So that candle, and then I think if it has two wicks, it'll kind of be, I think, like half the time. So you guys see, like, with Yankee Candle, you're getting, like, over 100 hours worth of burning time. You're obviously not going to burn the candle all in one go. So the candles definitely last you like a good long time okay so with two wicks like this one it'll be either 75 hours till 110 hours and they normally retail for 35 dollars and i feel like because of my job at yankee candle and how informative it was it definitely made me appreciate the brand and lean towards shopping towards them more because the candles last me for months and again this candle I've had it since like last year yeah I've had it since last year actually like a lot of the outlet ones are like half of that so you'll like spend $15 on a $30 candle and the candle will last you 110 hours so just make sure to get a scent that you really like um, my personal favorite is vanilla creme brulee so again vanilla food I just love how sweet I love sweet smells okay so that was the first candle uh, the second candle I'm gonna talk about it's before I get into like the luxury candle I'm just like building my way up there just so that it makes sense as to why I now purchase certain certain luxury candles and I kind of want to get into a little bit about designer versus luxury 
candles like a little bit of the difference between the two because i personally do believe that there's like a difference between the two and it's something that you should consider especially because you are spending your hard-earned coins in getting something that's really a luxury do you have to spend so much money on a candle we'll get there okay so the next candles i do want to talk about is bath and body works i feel like i got into the craze of bath and body works whenever they had like their candle days that's when i would try to take advantage of the large candles on sale again i will lean more towards like the pecan waffles uh candles and recently the candles that i've been leaning more towards have been florals so i have two actually three i have three candles from bath and body works i'm gonna show y'all the one that i've been burning in my room i got this one because it was on sale it normally retails for $15.95 and i got it for like six dollars so this one is coconut sandalwood uh, i i'm not that crazy about the scent because it was six dollars that's the main reason why i really like this candle and i use it mainly to whenever i finish cleaning my bathroom i'll burn the candle for a good while just like i like when you clean your space and you burn a candle afterwards i just kind of feel like it just seals everything it, like it seals the whole act itself and then the other candle that i got during that sale was the rose water and ivy so this candle i have yet to burn it i really have been trying to find the perfect rose candle and i believe i found it and with this one it says here soft rose petals english ivy and lemon blossom and the time it says do not burn for more than four hours intervals why is that you know i don't think yankee candle says that actually no you can continue to burn this however long you want and this one it's like you can only burn it for four hours at a time i didn't know that i don't know if i've reached the max i could have and i didn't realize that now that i'm like reading the instructions kind of falling into terms of that but with oh and then this one i have this one from white barn this was a gift cactus blossom this one i have been like burning in my bathroom and it smells so beautiful cactus flower petals vanilla citrus so i really do like citrus i like florals i like more like fresh scents i like more um uh florals and fresh when it comes to my bathroom and when it comes to my room i like more vanilla sweets and even like spice kind of don't go too crazy i feel like i I like to just take advantage of the sales it's not really a spot where I'm like oh my god I have to like get candles from here but I like it like there's some good ones there's one that I would get from this one that's my absolute favorite and it is the I think it's called cinnamon spiced vanilla that is my absolute favorite Bath and Body Works candle I normally get it in this size because with the size of my room, I really don't need a big candle. The last candle that I'm going to talk in regards to low is going to be... This one is from the collection. This one I got it in Target. And this one is Amethyst Garden. And with this one, I... It smell it Well, it used to. It doesn't smell like it anymore. It's almost done. I really do not like Target candles. I don't like that. The scents go in and out. It, you can kind of feel like the quality is not really 100% there. Um, this candle was like $10. The fact that it says that the glass may shatter. Oh my god. I'm like not realizing this. This one caught my attention because I kid you not, it smelled like Baccarat. But then when I burned it, it didn't even smell like it. Like it smelled like a completely different candle. And I just left it for my bathroom. I feel like I took the candles. Like when, I'm, when I know I'm staying in, I'm cleaning that that's like the time that i just like to enjoy burning a candle reading relaxing drawing editing whatever the case may be i like to burn a candle enjoy my space and these are just like a few of the high lows out of all the ones that i've mentioned the ones i would highly recommend would be the yankee candle one 
if you like vanilla I feel like you will like the way this one smells and I don't get a headache from it I really like it that's like a big thing for me and Lux candles are they worth it that's like the million dollar questions for me I do find that the splurge is worth it I'm gonna show y'all the first ever Lux candle a girl got this candle was 40 bucks are y'all ready so the first ever luxury candle that I pulled the trigger on was on this one, Bays from Dipti. I do not know if I'm saying that right, so if I'm saying it wrong, apologies. But if I'm being completely honest, okay, so this one is supposed to smell like berries. And I love the aesthetic of this candle. And I'm like, okay, so let's see. And as you can tell, like this one, I... I burned it a few times because again it was my first candle and I honestly am not a fan of this scent. I must say that the burn is very clean. The way that the scent stays in the air is consistent and it's a beautiful scent. I'm not a fan of this one. This is not my favorite but this is a popular one. Whenever, when I first went in, I didn't know which one to really get. And the sale associate was like, oh my gosh, this is like one of our best sellers. And at the time, I was like, you know what, it smells nice. It smells nice, but the, I don't really like it. Like, after a while, I get tired of the scent. But this was my first ever candle buy. Then the next one that I got was by Rito's. Uh, Bohemia and this to me reminds me of a cathedral church like when they would like burn the incense like it just brings me back to New York as a kid going to this big cathedral church that we would go to I think it was like the last Sunday of the month and it smells I can't even put my finger on how to describe this smell except for like musky incense let's just read it let's read about this candle like this candle is like one of my favorites okay so the reason why I got Bohemia is because I fell in love with um, gypsy waters I have the alt alternate the alternative fragrance which is called bohemian waters so i fell in love with that scent i love that fragrance i think i'm gonna try to get it this year and i wanted honestly i wanted something similar to that fragrance and this was what was popping up but it does not smell like it i feel like both the fragrance and this candle can complement one another but they by all means do not smell the same but they kind of give me the same vibe so it says here evoking unconventional lifestyle often in the company of like-minded people and with few permanent types bohemia is an ode to wandering a mishap a, mi a mismatch of scents that blends oponax with rum geranium and rosemary and vanilla with sandalwood and oak musk okay let's see what says good to know it says woody recyclable uh, package so the large one has a 60 hour burn the small one has a 24 hour burn and it lasted me for a few months because I wouldn't burn it all the time but even Karina when she would get in my room she would be like oh my gosh what is that smell it smells so beautiful in here the jars were usable the, it's like medium intensity and the notes are a po honex rum hearts oh my gosh I am just butchering these things hearts grium I'm gonna just put it on the screen and then the base is moss sandalwood and vanilla it says burning and care for a better burn experience trim wick before use oh yeah that's a that's a thing you have to trim your wick 
a quarter of an inch before you burn it so it doesn't create that little soot good to know I, I forgot to even mention that in the beginning and yeah that's my Rito so this is like a super fave of mine and then uh, for Christmas my bestie she was sweet enough I think it was for Christmas that she two Christmases ago she gifted me the large dipti candle in Neruli. so with this candle i wanted to get it in small but it was only available in the large size so i just put it in my christmas list funny enough we exchanged candles as gifts so this one it smells like honey and this is my absolute favorite 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 dipti candle and when we went in the stores, like, I could not stop thinking about this candle. And I like that with Dipsy, they encourage you to, uh, like, burn, can like, two different candles at the same time to create, like, a different scent. This one with the orange smells so beautiful. But yeah, and this one, it's crazy because this one retailed for $4, and now I'm looking on the site, and then now retails for $47, so it went up in price. Base, let's look at Dipsy. Dipika tea. Dipika tea. And that's exactly how I spell it. Whenever I'm Googling it, because I always misspell it. The small one, it should retail for $40. And now it retails for $45. I got it when it was $40. Bucks. The classic is $74. Okay. So the next Dipika tea candle that I got, this is my favorite rose candle. And it's roses. This candle. It smells like fresh cut roses. I don't know how the heck they manage to make it, but it's like the right amount of rose. It smells so fresh. It smells like rose and water, but it's not like rose water. It it smells like pure roses. Um, so that candle, I freaking love it. Dipika tea. I'm probably gonna get this one again probably gonna get roses what I like about dipic tea is the fact that you can reuse the glosses and you know you have them set up in your bathroom that's kind of like the main reason why I wanted to get these and then in Etsy there's a seller that she has like this same format on these glasses and one says coffee matcha and I forgot what the other one says I think it's coffee and matcha and you could basically drink your coffee and matcha it just looks so pretty it's just like nice pretty simple design i freaking loved by rito's candle so much i did finally commit to getting the big one and i'm so happy because i've burned it quite a few times and that's like actually not a good thing when it does that it's good for it to burn evenly and you can kind of see like the difference between the two so this is dipika tea and by rito and you can kind of see how with dipika tea which is a, in my opinion, they specialize in candles. You can, you can see the quality in it, but they both smell so beautiful. Eventually this, cause I did burn it for a little bit. I didn't burn it for too long. Eventually it evens out, but that is something to consider whenever you are looking into the qualities of the candles. Luxury candles, in my opinion, are worth it when one, the scent is consistent, two, the wax burns evenly, three, it just gives you a nice long burn time. So I'm going to kind of talk a little bit between the burns between Dipika Tea and Byredo. So with Dipika Tea, uh, the large candle, the burn time is around 50 hours and Byredo is 60 hours burn time. God, I've burned this candle already like, I want to say like three times. This candle I burned. The thing is with Dipika tea, you don't have to burn it for like a good solid hour. Like I feel like you could burn it for one hour and then you just turn it off and your room is going to smell like that for a while. And every now and then, as I have this candle out, my room smells like it. So that's why even after all this time, I still have wax in my candle. I refuse to finish them. <laughs> I refuse to finish them until I restock on it. But I, like I said, with my luxury, with my bougie candles, I only burn them when I know I'm staying in. 
that's the comparison between the two the other ones that I really am interested in seeing how their candles are is Le Labo that's the next brand that I want to see what candle catches my eye I am very interested in how Loewe's candle is because there's one candle that has caught my attention the scent I cannot stop thinking about it I just can't justify the price so it's the candle beetroot and that candle literally is the small one is 125 and I just need to see what the burn time is for that one it's so weird like it's just it's a unique candle to even look into okay okay so the small one is 120 I thought it was 125 and I'll insert photos of it there's just something about this candle that just catches my attention and it's only select stores it's made in Spain it's definitely tiny and the wax time is 30 hours I kind of feel like I can make it work but I don't know I don't know and again it's very unique it's very low wavy the next candle that I got uh, is from Dairy Boy okay so I'm including this candle because I also do want to get into the habit of just supporting fellow creators and also small businesses that specialize in candles another small business that I just want to highlight on here that they definitely know what they're doing is called Emmy Emmy I think it's called Emmy they specialize in like different scents related to Asian cultures such as like mochi uh, they also have one of matcha uh, what was this other one it was a bean yuzu just a bunch of different very unique scents oh sesame seed they also have that one the one that I was interested in was mochi but it sold out um, but I really wanted to support a fellow creator and Dairy Boy is by Paige I forgot her last name but I love her YouTube videos and I love what she stands for when it comes to her brands so I got 40 love and okay here's the thing with this candle I don't know what's happening with the wax that it looks like that and then there's like soot I do cut it and it's it so happens um, but when it burns I feel like the burn is very pretty it's floral and it's light I can't even describe it so this one it says that it is designed in New England and it's a hand porn porn candle I kind of wish that the box itself had like the flower notes or something it says yeah do not burn burn more than four hours at a time so I just got this to support I like candles and I really like the box I love the packaging of the candle and everything so that was nice I don't know if I would buy again I really like her clothing line so I did get a few things from the clothing line so I don't mind that it looks pretty on my nightstand it is what it is into real quickly with designer brands there's a lot of like luxury brands now like Loewe that are now coming out with their own like candle line I'm honestly very hesitant when it comes to purchasing uh, candles from a company that doesn't really specialize in it because I kind of feel like it's just a quick cash grab and the price is pretty big in comparison to luxury candles like dip tea and even by Rito and the Lavo it's just such a big price hike especially when you're not getting as long of a candle time as you would for a candle like Yankee Candle it's funny because it's like I know I'm reverting back to Yankee Candle but it's like Yankee Candle is where you go to when you love candles and you want like the longevity of it you want the consistency of it and you know you can trust the company uh, because they say like if there's a candle you don't like even if you burn it they'll like change it and give you like a new one I don't know if that policy has changed but I know that that policy was in place when I was working there and that's a good selling point whenever we would talk to clients it would be if you do not like how a candle burns if you see that there's some inconsistency or something wrong with it like you are more than welcome to bring back either grab a new one 
or grab another one or get your money back like that's how confident the company itself is behind their candles and I think that with dip tea kind of gives off the same vibe as well like you can tell that these people are passionate about their candles the craft and just taking time into making sure that you're getting exactly what you pay for and in my opinion you really do with dip tea but by Rito I was so pleasantly surprised definitely I've become a return customer because I've already bought two candles from them and I personally do think that they are definitely worth the splurge I'm not saying like buy a bunch of candles I didn't buy all these candles like in one go like it was a gradual thing I really do take pride in just being in my own space and just making sure that the candles that I burn complement the space that I'm in, the mood that I'm trying to create. Most of my candles just feel very warm and very pretty, very light. And I definitely don't want people to come into my room, my friends to come into my room and get a headache because of the scent. That's another thing I do consider. And I think that with the candle selections that I do have, they're doing a fantastic job. Uh, when it comes to designer candles, I just say, you know, proceed with caution because it could go, it could be a hit, it could be a miss, but I think it'll be lean more towards the hit than the miss. I would like to hope so, especially given the price points of these candles. Because with Loewe, for example, you're literally getting less of a burn time, and that's something else that you need to consider too. If that's not something that you mind, and you just love the brand, because that's how I feel with Celine, I love the brand, and I really would like to have a Celine candle, but I do find myself stopping because that money could just go towards a fragrance or that can go towards something else in which I know that the brand is much more specialized in. Like that's something that you should take note of and should take into consideration because there are companies that are luxury when it comes to candle making and they deliver on their products. And most likely, if they're not delivering to your standards that you expect from them, I'm pretty sure the return process is easy peasy. I really like that with dip tea. You just have like a range of options. Whether you like florals, whether you like spicier scents, whether you like fruity, I like that you can mix and match and play. And if you're not ready to commit to a big candle, you can always start off with a small one just to slowly dip your toes into making this a norm and just having in your space. Don't look crazy, but I kind of feel like it's a nice splurge to have at least once a year where you go to one of these candle specialized stores and just buy a nice candle. That'll last you probably a good solid year if you're not the type to burn it every single time you get home. Like me, that's me. That's why all these candles have lasted me. And then a last candle that I have, it's not to burn, it's just for fun. My little sister, she got this as a gift to me. I need to kind of like rub the wax between my hands to get the white parts, but this is a candle. And this was again supporting a small business. I really like when they have these special molded candles. I love, see like if I go like that. I gotta kind of gotta wipe it down but I really love that this cute little statue is a candle it doesn't smell like anything it's just natural wax it just looks really pretty on my on my desk so yeah I'm gonna try my best to put everything down below that I mentioned let me know what candles you liked uh, I kind of feel like if you really like roses, uh, roses by Dip Tea is a beautiful candle to burn. But if you do not want to spend close to $50 on a candle, I think that the best alternative would be rose water and ivy. And if you like sweeter smells, like vanilla smells, the creme brulee definitely is a good one. And if you want something a little bit stronger but still sweet the neruli is such a beautiful candle to burn if you want something a bit more natural that's when i would recommend the bohemia 
The Bohemian Candle is definitely a unique smell, but it definitely creates a vibe. It's a mood. She's a she's a moment. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a bit of a lengthy one. Which candles caught your attention or what's your favorite candle to burn? I would love to know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, be sure to subscribe, like, hit the bell for future videos, and let me know in the comments down below any video recommendations you guys may want to see on the channel. Until next time, y'all. Yeah.